What's going on guys, Mr. Akalai here, and today I want to talk about the Ginyu Glitch. Now the Ginyu Glitch is something that I've talked about numerous, numerous times in my videos and numerous, numerous times on my live stream, but it pretty much never fails anytime I bring it up. There's still a group of people that are like, you know, what is it? I've never heard of it. How does it work? So I figure I would just make a video that details it and outlines it to sort of raise awareness because the main thing is I would like this to be fixed and removed from the game because it is incredibly detrimental to Ginyu as a character like this glitch literally kills him and I would just like more people to know that it's out there in hopes of getting it fixed. So before we get into exactly what the glitch is, let's just make sure we're all on the same page and understanding exactly how Ginyu works as a character. So as everyone knows, Ginyu is a summon character who specializes in calling the Ginyu Force. This is the main strength of his kit, and it has a hard and fast rule set in stone that Ginyu is not allowed to call any more than two members at one time. So at any time, it doesn't matter where you are in the rotation, you can always have two Ginyu Force members on the screen at any one given time. Now, the only exception to this rule is whenever you summon Purple Comet Crash. Basically, due to the fact that this attack calls out both Jis and Birder at the same time, the game counts this as two members on the screen, so it will not let you summon anyone else. Now, the reason it's important for Ginyu to be able to call two members on the screen at the same time is because he has to do this in every single one of his combo routes. There's barely a combo he does where you don't call two members at once. Like, here is a very basic example of a standard Ginyu B&B. &B. And as you can see, for that one, you need both Birder and Jis on the screen at the same time. So now that we got all that out of the way, let's go ahead and start breaking down the actual glitch itself. Where does it come from and how does it activate? So what's crazy is the glitch only activates if Ginyu is an assist character, namely when you're using Ginyu B. Ginyu B is the assist where he comes out and calls the Ginyu Force. This assist, for the most part, follows the same rules as Ginyu himself when he's on screen, which is why it's able to activate the glitch. So, how does the glitch actually activate? Well, to put it simply, anytime you call Purple Comet as an assist and it gets interrupted, there's basically a 50% chance that Ginyu will become glitched. And Purple Comet will get interrupted if the point character gets touched in any way, whether they are hit by any sort of attack or even if they are touched by a sparking blast. So as you can see, that caused my entire assist to disappear because I got hit by a spark. And now, if I call Ginyu, you will notice that he is only calling one force member. Basically, if Purple Comet gets interrupted at a certain part of its animation, the game acts like it didn't finish and basically it just remains in that state forever and you are now unable to call two assists at once. You can still do Purple Comet by itself, but there's no way to ever repair Ginyu. He will only call one assist at a time. And that's even if you tag him in himself. As you can see, I am now Ginyu on point and the glitch remains. I can no longer call more than one. And not only that, there is a massive, massive cooldown. Your second one cannot come out until the first one has completely disappeared from the screen. Naturally, this destroys Ginyu's offense completely. And stated before, because of the way his combo structure is set up, it completely locks him out of his combos. So as you can see, this is very, very bad for Ginyu. This is something that does happen very frequently, especially if you're a Ginyu B user, such as myself. This can happen quite often as it's very, very easy for Purple Comet to get interrupted. It happened to me in crucial matches where I was basically doomed to lose because once this happens, you know, Ginyu is basically worthless. He doesn't function as a character anymore. He's literally broken. So I'm hoping that if enough people find out about this, that Arxis will take notice and they can do some sort of like hot fix as they've done in the past. You know, I don't know if there's ever going to be another patch, but either way, I really hope this gets fixed sooner rather than later because, you know, Ginyu is my favorite character and 
I really hate to see him nerfed like this. And as a bonus, I would love to know from Arxis themselves whether or not this is intentional that Ginyu cannot combo into body change anymore. This is another thing that a lot of people don't seem to know. I don't blame them because it wasn't in the patch notes, but as of the last patch, Ginyu is no longer allowed to combo into body change. He can only combo body change if he is an anchor character. I would love some clarification from Arxis one day, but hopefully a time will come where they will hot fix all of this and we will find out whether or not the body change is a bug or not. But even if the body change never comes back, my main hope is to please, please, please just fix the Ginyu B glitch because that is most certainly a glitch and it's definitely gotta go. And that's gonna just about do it for this one. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Be sure to let everybody that you know know about this glitch. Get the word out there. Share the video around if you can. Raise awareness. It's up to you to save Captain Ginyu. Ginyu needs your help. <laughs> Hashtag save the captain. But yeah, once again, thanks so much for listening. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe for more guides, match reviews, matches, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you fellas in the next one. Peace.